backhand from Krenzen, gets it in deep. Roll out to play it behind his own net, wraps it off the glass, back to center. Lusinski, back in deep. Rowe comes out to play it, loses his footing. Getting to it first, left-hand corner. Mobley in front for Randall and a stop made. And a second chance coming from the point they score. It's Zach Blusinski, one nothing Lancers. Well, a bit of chaos ensuing after Cameron Rowe put all his eggs in the getting to the puck behind the net basket and he had to come back in front of the net after he fell. Shades of last year's Lancer team with the Lancer lob as Jensen scampers in after picking the pocket of Josh Lidke. But a stop made from Rowe to get back on track. Left point, Neenhaus to the right circle. Time for Plusinski and a great blocker save made by Cameron Rowe. Now Papp, saucer to the point, Lovell. Into the net front, LaFerriere on the pat side. Stop made, McClellan, in a second. The puck is still loose, and it gets back behind the net. Two on two at the offensive line. Mason Nevers has Alexeyev with him. Nevers with a toe drag. That's not going to work. And back the other way come the Lancers. Lautenbach screaming down the right-hand wall. Gets it in front and row with a sensational pad save. Back. Campbell on the far wall gets it to the point. Right circle now. Plusinski looking top left corner misses the net. At the point. Intercepted by Michael Mancinelli. He's off to the races to tie it. He scores! All alone and all the way to the glove hand side goes Michael Mancinelli, and it's a 1-1 hockey game. Sutton. With help from Troon, gets it deep. Gaidemirov hammers it right back into Troon, skates on the right-hand wall. In front is Kotze looking to fire it, and a beautiful pad save made from Rowe going into the splits. As back comes Derkulik, looking for his first Bucks goal, and a stop made by McClellan. And the Bucks survive a bit of a scare there after Cameron Rowe had some trouble behind the net on the first goal of the night against. Now Campbell, left circle on his backhand. In front, Bradley's alone, and Rowe makes one save in the second. My stars, a couple of bell ringing saves by Cameron Rowe. But the Lancers aren't done. The puck is loose in front. Bradley's behind the net. Rowe is all over the place. The puck hits the post, and it goes through Rowe and somehow stays out. My goodness, it's pandemonium. Rowe is on all fours, and the Bucks get an absolute panic clear to the rounding applause of the Buccaneer faithful. Back in is Crenzen, across the line, great poke check by Driscoll. And now LaFerriere and Driscoll might take a look at a shorthanded chance instead. It's just LaFerriere pulls the trigger, rebound on Salici, and it's shut down by McClellan. Defenseman leads the Lancers in power play tallies with five. Now it's Ross Mitten, banked back to the point. Berger steps in and shoots, pad save by Rowe. There's a rebound, and Rowe gets that off. No, it goes off of his helmet and in. A power play goal by the Lancers, and it was a lucky one at that. And Alex LaFerriere is animated about this call, saying he batted it out of the air, and I believe Jensen is going to be the one who gets credit for it. And Peter Menino is agreeing with LaFerriere on that. I didn't catch it. But something did propel that puck from the air back down on Cameron Rowe. And again, without replay capabilities here, it comes down to what the officials have to chat about down here with Lindner and Mostrom still talking. And it's no goal. Kodsey in there, as well as Renwick for Omaha. Chapani also in helping. Fishes the puck loose, but only feeds the left point. Plusinski opens up and fires. He had it blocked. And here comes Mason Nevers to take the lead. All alone. Stop made McClellan. Giant save for McClellan. Nevers denied what could have been his third, pardon, fourth goal against the Lancers this season. As 
Alexeyev gets back into the slot. One-timer coming. They score! Redirected in front. I believe Alex Laferriere is going to get credit. 2-1. Rifled one-timer from Noah Ellis. 114 to go in the power play, which will bleed over just for two seconds into the third, unless the Bucks can capitalize here in the next minute and six seconds. But it'll be a rush against instead. Alex Campbell goes right around level to his backhand, and Rowe says no. And a second time on Daniel Hilsendagger. An impeccable pair of saves by Cameron Rowe to keep the Lancers off the board. Either the Lancer or the Buccaneer bench, it does go down, and so Lidke will hold up behind the net with 50 seconds gone in the hooking call to Mitten. Pap navigating across the blue line. Bucks are on sides. Nice move from Pap. Left circle level, a bomb. They score! <laughs> Tim Lovell with a bomb that hit who knows what in front of the net, but it had enough to trickle its way past Kyle McClellan and found its way home for Lovell's third power play goal of the season, and Des Moines doubles their lead. And let one fly, but it didn't go home with a lot of authority, but they don't care how much authority it goes home with. It only matters that it goes home. But hold on, back in is Sutton to answer, and Rowe shuts the door on Matthew Sutton's breakaway chance. Back ahead, Posa across the line, leaves it off level. He'll step in, he fakes, lost the puck, got it back to Posa. Puck is still loose. Back ahead will come the Lancers. Could be a two-on-one. Mancinelli has to hustle. Loose puck in front, Renwick, he scores! Well, Tim Lovell got fancy in the high slot. The fake, not only faked out its defender, but he faked out himself, lost the puck. It was a foot race the other way. Mancinelli could not get back in time. Andrews took one man, the puck got loose, and Renwick went to his backhand and brought it to the roof. However, Lautenbach wins it to the point. Berger with pressure coming. Relays to the left-hand wall, Renwick. Left point, Anderson shooting, bounces in front and Rowe makes the save. Berger at the right circle, Rowe makes another save. An absolute mad scramble in front of the net and the whistle finally sounds. All the way across to the bench side, tipped in Randall. There goes McClellan, six on five. Hockey Lancers have the net empty at the other end. Renwick's the extra attacker. Here's Neenhaus at the point, to the right point. Plusinski, blocker save, Rowe. Another chance for Neenhaus, he scores! Nash Neenhaus has tied the game at three with 1.22 remaining here in the third period. What a shot from Nash Neenhaus after a big save from Rowe. It popped out to the inside of the top of the left circle and Neenhaus is a left-handed shot. Pap is ran into by Anderson. 40 seconds to go. Five on four. Alex Sam to the right point. Here's LaFerriere looking for a target. Finds Alexeyev, right circle up top. LaFerriere shooting, he scores! A power play goal in the twilight of the third, and the Bucks have the lead again. And this building responding as the Bucks responded as well. 13 seconds, Lancers one last push ahead. Dumped in by Plusinski, nine to play. Net still empty, Payne holds onto the puck on the near wall. Five seconds to go, a clear from the Bucks, and Des Moines holds steadfast with a stunning victory thanks to a power play goal late by Alex LaFerriere. And it's 4-3 the final.